Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at now with these follow actions is the follow action chooser itself. Now this is where things start to get interesting because this for me draws or conjures up ideas of um, cellular automata and um, John Conway's Game of Life. And that's because these follow actions work by um, triggering other clips in a continuous group based on the action that you choose. And what I mean by that is, to start off, we need to have um, a couple of clips um, continuously in a track. And just before I do that, we'll notice that currently our time for our follow action is set to one bar, but that gives us a lot of silence. So I'm just gonna bring this down to one beat. And now we have a continuous, um, continuous note there. And then if I duplicate this, um, this clip now th the same thing's happening four times but if instead of doing play again if I say play next for this very first clip what's going to happen is this clip's going to play and then it's going to play the next clip um, and then if I say play last it's going to jump to the last clip in the group which happens to be this one so it'll play this clip and then for this clip if I say play um, play previous, it will play this clip here, and then for this clip, if I say play first, it will jump back to the top. So let's see if that works out. So, so you can see, just by doing that, I'm able to set up kind of a pattern based on some kind of procedure or logic, um, and that kind of like really ties into this idea of algorithmic composition. Um, cool, so that's gets you a repeatable pattern. Um, um, yeah, and we could start to, just to hear the difference on all these different um, different clips here, we could change the pitch of some of these. So um, on the second one, I'm going to transpose it like down an octave. On the third one, I'm going to transpose it up an octave. And this one, I'll transpose it up two octaves just for now, just so we can hear the difference. So here we go. Cool. Um, another thing that could be quite interesting as well, if I hold shift, select all of these, is if I select any for all of them. And what that means, it'll after the clip finishes playing, it'll jump to any other clip, um, including itself. If you didn't want it to repeat itself, you could select other. But if I select any, and that's for all of them now, it'll essentially randomize the playback of these clips. And then finally, another th cool thing you can do, if I duplicate these to get a few more, is shorten um, the follow action time. So they're currently set to a beat, but for some of these, I'm gonna set it to, um, let's say, a quaver. Set this one to a quaver as well. And set these down to a semi-quaver. So what I might get now is like a real some varying rhythms now. And if I put a click on underneath just to hear the consistent beat and start that again. Um, yeah, a little bit irregular, but again, like I said, JD Beck was my... Um, influence at the start. So having lots of offbeat accents and stuff like that is totally appropriate. See you in the next video.